Welcome back. Today we're going to do homemade pasta. So let's get started. We start with about a half a cup of flour and I'm going to use the food processor. And I'm going to start by kind of fluffing that flour a little bit. I'm going to use a little bit of water. The thing we want to be careful of here is not to add too much water. So I'm just going to add that was probably about a sixteenth of a cup of water. And the consistency that we want is we want it to look a little bit like couscous, which means that there's going to be kind of little, little balls of flour that are formed. If it starts to stick together, there's too much water. And it won't take very long at all. This is a really simple pasta with just water and flour. And this is almost the right consistency. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add maybe a teaspoon of oil. And that will just smooth it out a bit. So there you can see it's small there we go, pieces of pasta and now I'll take it out and I'm just going to form a very small, smooth ball of dough. I want to be careful not to cut myself with this. You can do the same thing with by by just kneading the pasta, but this probably is the equivalent. Using the food processor is the equivalent of probably ten or fifteen minutes of kneading the pasta. So. Here's the pasta, and I'm going to lightly flour my board here, and just coat the pasta with the dough, the pasta dough, with some flour. And now we'll go over to the Atlas machine. This is the pasta machine, and what it does is it does the job of rolling out the pasta which again you can do this by hand with a rolling pin but what the Atlas machine does is it can actually shorten again it can shorten that process for us and I've got the widest setting here I'm gonna bring it down make it a little bit there we go these bits are from making pasta earlier. So let's bring this down again. There we go. I'm just getting the old pasta out. And each time, what I can do is just bring that in a little bit more and if the pasta feels a little bit sticky all I need to do is kind of dust it a little bit with the flour that's on the board put that through one more time And I usually bring it down to next to the last thinnest setting. So the thinnest setting on this machine is 7. So I'm going to keep it at 6. Again, I'm just coating this very lightly with some flour. Let's put it through one more time. And 
this will be the last time that we go through. And then what I'll do is I'll switch this over to the cutting blade, which will then turn it into noodles. So I'll just move the handle over here. Feed this right in to the cutting blade. And what I'll do is I'll use a chopstick right under the noodles just to catch that. It really does a good job of cutting the noodles. And what I'll do is I'm going to just store those noodles right there. I've used the chopstick to hang that on. Let's head over here. This is our soup. And what I'm using for the soup is a carcass from the wok baked chicken that we made in an earlier recipe. And we're just we just covered up the carcass with some water and we boiled it up and it's made some really nice broth. And uh, what I'll also do is I'm going to uh, cut up some of the chicken that's on that. And we'll just add that right to the broth. That'll give it a nice flavor as well. We won't put that in. That is a habanero pepper, which is going to give the soup a little bit of spice. So there we go. So that's the broth. And you can use your favorite recipe, but this one here has no MSG or chemicals in it. So we want this to be boiling, which it is. And I'm going to start off by putting in the eggs so they can start cooking. These are our large organic eggs and I'll put two in. You get these locally at the grain store. Just put them on different sides there. And those will cook in about two minutes in the boiling water, in the boiling broth. This broth is on high. And what I'll do now is I'm just going to slide this pasta right in. All I have to do is turn the chopstick and that will drop it in. And let me just give that a quick stir. There we go. And since these are fresh noodles, these literally will cook literally in a minute, and they're very thin noodles. The only thing I need to add now will be some fresh sliced scallions from our garden, some green onions, and we'll just put those right in. Those noodles are done, and uh, we like our eggs soft boiled, so they've been in there for about a minute and a half or so, so we're going to be pretty happy with those. So let me get these, grab an egg, see there's a nice soft boiled egg some noodles. And I'll get some broth. And there you have very, very fresh
ramen soup. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.